Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Melbourne Gardener. Today I'll be talking about broody hens and how to break that broodiness. Uh, if you follow my other videos, uh, this is my uh, Australorp uh, Pepper. Pepper's her name. Uh, she got broody last week. Uh, what she did was, I noticed that she kept staying in the laying box uh, from mid morning to all the way to the um, afternoon. And I was like, hmm, that's a bit interesting. And every time I came near her, she would give her a, a big growl. And as you can see, she lost a few feathers here and there too. But now, as I go close, she kind of moves away. And this is, this is the sign of broodiness. If they um, get quite, um, uh, if they get quite grouchy, and they're not running away from you, um, then yeah, chances are they're broody and obviously um, staying in in the uh, in the lane box. Funnily enough, they're they're fighting over a bug at the moment, so uh, let's see who wins. Um, anyway, so the uh, how did I break the broodiness? Well. I have a separate cage that I basically put her in. So what I did was I put the cage in the shade and and I put it right here and I put her own food, her own water and I essentially um, stuck her there without uh, yeah without any comfortable position at the bottom. So the bottom is it's kind of a bit rocky a bit um, and and, uh, and basically for the whole day she stayed there. And what I also did was every time she went to sleep, uh, she would still try and find a place to kind of lay. Um, like, so, um, so even if it wasn't in the laying, uh, um, the nesting and laying boxes, she would find a way uh, to, to get comfortable on the ground. Um, so in here. Uh, so what I would do is I would wait until it's dark. I'd come and check and make sure she's not just uh, sitting on the ground all the time. And I would put her on um, these roosting bars. Uh, that was very important uh, so that she started getting used to the roosting bars rather than um, uh, sitting on the ground. Like, um, And after a day and a half, basically 20, uh, like a whole day in, in the cage, uh, she, yeah, she broke her, her, um, broodiness and I just need to make sure that that habit didn't come back in. Um, and then, um, I waited probably about, I would say it's been four days, uh, with no eggs. And then finally today I got, um, an egg from her. Um, and this one's kind of small compared to the other ones, but you can tell, um, yeah, like she's, well, she, I've got three, three chickens and three eggs. So that's really great. So if you ever have a broody hen, I would highly, highly recommend one is to get a separate cage, uh, so that you can put her in, give her, um, two, give her enough food and water so that, uh, she's, she's, you know, not gonna, not gonna die. Um, but she's comfortable, but three is make sure that the bottom is not, uh, is not like flat so that she doesn't uh, she doesn't like feel like she can just kind of do the same thing in the in the nesting box but also in the uh, in the in the cage um, and hopefully um, yeah like I guess it, it depends on how long you want to do it but I did it for for one whole day and that broke her cycle and I just made sure that she didn't get back into that cycle and I was making sure that uh, throughout the day, she wasn't going back in to try and find a warm spot to sit in. Um, I also noticed that her temperament uh, was slowly, slowly changing and she didn't have that defensive growl and she would still, um, she would still scream like, um, like, uh, she would still make her little songs every now and then to show that she wasn't happy. But, uh, overall, yeah, she, um, she broke that, that habit. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it for today. If you um, 
yeah if you have any questions if you're if you're experiencing this and you're you're finding it um uh, you're finding the same thing that happened to me happens to you feel free to comment um and share with other people as well uh like and subscribe and and um yeah let's uh, continue to share information about how to to raise chickens in our backyard how to do things um that would save each other um making mistakes twice and um yeah and just being a, a bit more sustainable in how we live all right take care everyone i'll see you in the next video